Hi everybody. So today's lesson is about change in velocity, which has to do with vector subtraction. So if you need to find a change in velocity, the way we calculate that is change in velocity is final velocity minus initial velocity. And the way that is written in the form uh, using symbols is this delta V. So delta stands for change in V is for velocity equals VF, which is final velocity minus initial velocity. Now, since velocity is a vector, it's got size as well as direction, we have to use vector subtraction. So how do we use vector subtraction? So this is the rule. The rule is just three words. It says add the opposite and you might think, oh my goodness, what on earth does it mean? It simply means you to whatever number is first. So instead of subtracting, you change the subtraction to a plus sign and opposite means opposite direction. So let's see how that is done. So here's an example. So here are two vectors, A and B let's say a is four meters per second going to the right and b is five meters per second going vertically up okay so if you have to find the difference between a and b so we are subtracting them so a minus b is four in that direction minus five in the upward direction so what do we do? We leave the first number as it is, no change. The minus sign now becomes a plus sign. The arrow pointing upwards, the opposite of upwards is downwards, so it points down. Now we just do vector addition using the rules that we learned in the last lesson. So vector addition, because they're not in the same straight line, we have to get a vector triangle. So you first draw the green arrow, and then you add the red head to tail, so the tail of the red touches the head of the green and so that becomes a right angle there and we complete that triangle so the resultant goes from start to finish and so your answer is this arrow with the double line so how do you get that so it's using Pythagoras it's 4 squared plus 5 squared and you get about 6.4 meters per second often you have asked to find the direction as well of the change or the difference between two and usually you find you always find the direction where the tails of the arrow meet for any angle these things just get further and further away don't they the further it goes so it's always where the tails meet so this theta can be you know opposite you know adjacent so it would be tan inverse of 5 over 4 and you get 51 degrees okay so that's how you do vector subtraction so for this lesson the questions that you have to do is over here it says change in velocity i thought i'll do question one is quite straightforward i thought i'll do question two um, this one here and i'll explain how question two is done so i worked it out for you so it's about a game of pool. So the final, velo sorry, the initial velocity is 2.1 meters per second. So a ball goes 2.1 meters per second. It hits something and it gets deflected. And so the velocity after it gets deflected has a change in size as well as direction. So what we have to do is find the change in velocity. Okay, so what's important is you identify which one's initial, which one's final. So the change in velocity is Vf minus Vi. So Vf is the 1.9 downwards. Vi, that's minus initial, that's your 2.1 pointing to the right. Okay, so then we use the rule. So the first number stays as it is, but the second number, the minus becomes a plus and the arrow pointing to the right now will point to the left. And then we just add them vectorially. So that's your 1.9. That's your 2.1 and your change in velocity is from start to finish. So where the tails meet there. Okay. And then you just use Pythagoras and then I'll just remove the book. It's 1.9 minus 2.1 square root. Um, so sorry, 1.9 squared plus 2.1 squared square root and you get 2.83. And then the question also says, find the direction of the change in velocity as an angle to the initial velocity so if you just look up there 
your initial velocity was going to the right, but when we subtracted, we flipped it over so that it was going to the left. So how do you do that part? So I just explained it here. So this is the vector triangle that we got. And like I said, you always find the angles where the tails meet. So this dotted line is the direction of the initial velocity. It was actually going to the right. Okay, we flipped it so it's going to the left. So you kind of just translate this blue line up over here and you flip it across. And what you're supposed to do is find that whole angle. Now, this is a right angle.